Well, <clears throat> it's been a little over a year. Uh, this car has 26,516 miles, which I've pretty put pretty much put 95, 96% of those miles, maybe more, right? 99% of those miles on here. Um, I drive every week from Jacksonville, Florida to Gainesville back and forth twice. So it's about 240 miles and that's just a weekend. So if I drive it during the week, I'm putting over 300 miles a week on this car. Um, this is the Model Y standard range. It has the smallest battery pack and a single motor. Um, it still goes zero to 60 in like 5.3 seconds. So really you don't need, I really don't need any more power, any more acceleration, this is fine. Um, if I had to do it over again, I would probably buy um, something with a little bit bigger battery pack because I've taken it to Ohio and back <clears throat> and between superchargers, it doesn't really allow you a lot of extra miles. So I would, and also too, um, I'd like to be able to not have to charge, you know, like almost 100% between chargers. Um, it gets about 200, when we bought it, it was like 230 miles per charge. Now we're down to like 220-ish, 223. So it, it's lost about five to 10 miles uh, per 100% per charge. Um, and I really don't like charging at 100%. When I go to Gainesville and back, <clears throat> um, if I don't charge it to at least 85 to 90%, I have to stop and charge to get back um, with more than 20%. So yeah, I, I think most people could use this car, but if you do a lot of driving like I do, I would I would steer more towards 300, 350. Uh, that way you don't never have to dip below 20 or um, charge above 80 and you can stay in that sweet spot. And they say if you charge up to 95%, as long as you drive right away, it doesn't really hurt that much but it would be nice to know that you're between the 20 and 80%. Uh, the paint is holding up pretty good. It is a little bit soft and we get a lot of bug splatter in the front. So I do recommend a ceramic coating. We got that done about a month ago and it has helped a lot. And I'm planning on getting some extra coating or a spray uh, to especially use just on the mirrors in the front because that's everything else. <clears throat> Before I got the ceramic coating, I had to scrub and scrub and get the bugs off. And I think it was damaging the paint. After you get the ceramic coating, the bugs almost spray off. Uh, the first uh, week after the ceramic coating, the bugs sprayed off. And now I have to scrub just a little bit or wipe them off. But definitely the ceramic coating helped a lot. But I would recommend getting some other type of uh, coating um, like in the, in between ceramic coatings, I would put something or like a wax on the front because those bugs, especially on a white vehicle, they're really gonna stick. And until they improve the paint, uh, you're gonna have issues getting the bugs off the front. Um, another great investment was the like WeatherTech or equivalent floor mats. Uh, they, and the, the carpet's like brand new still um, I have a dirt driveway <clears throat> at the shop, so I'm always tracking in dirts and rock and stuff. And every time I go to the car wash, I'll just uh, spray the mats off, wipe them down and stick them back in and they've held up really well. I've got them, uh, there's a few places in the corners you have to vacuum, but other than that, you can skip vacuuming, vacuuming um, until like maybe the fourth cleaning and then you can just vacuum between the seats so, and then of course I've got the, uh, the window tinting and also too, um, I put some covers up here because the sun does penetrate. If you're, we're in Jacksonville, Florida, it does get hot and we do have a tendency to the, the cars to heat up. Um, I just got the wireless controllers. That's awesome for the games. My daughter loves that. Um, of course I got the, uh, cup holder uh, organizer and I got the little trays aftermarket of course that fit in here I do recommend those um, and what 
else did I get? But pretty much just anything to protect the vehicle. But the, I would get the ceramic coating first. That would be like the very first thing I did. And then I'll get the mats. Um, they do need, I would like to get seat covers. I just can't find any that I really like. And it'd be nice if they had a console cover. So what I've been using now is just, um, I bought some uh, sleeveless t-shirts that are breathable and I slide those over the seats until I can get some um, seat covers and that seems to work pretty well um, and then of course I got I got a kit that covers the floor mats the floor um, the frunk and the back hatch you want to get as much plastic covering um, as you can and get something that holds water in case it spills did get the black interior white exterior um, I think the cost before uh, self-driving, uh, 38000 So we got it right before all the prices went up. Got the very last one um, before everything shot up. So we got the least expensive Model Y, and I'm glad we did because now it's worth more than we paid for it. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, highly recommend the car haven't had any problems there was a uh, the only the only issue I've had that still remains uh, the back door you just have to slam it a little bit harder than the regular doors to get it completely to close if not it doesn't completely close um, we didn't bother anybody about it I uh, figured eventually we'd you know have it adjusted it's just an adjustment um, but everything else all the panel gaps and everything just when we first got it, it looked a little tweaked, but as we drove it and everything settled in, everything is fine now, except that back door. Um, other than that, the car's been great. Uh, just got FSD about a month ago. Been using it quite a bit. Um, problem, the only problem I wish they would uh, solve would be they need an indicator that's um, on the upper left-hand part of the screen, because when you're driving, if you're not constantly looking at the monitor, a lot of times they can it can blink if you're not in the right mode, and um, you can forget to hit the steering wheel or one of the knobs to let it know. So I've already got two strikes on me because <laughs> uh, sometimes you you're not always paying attention to the screen. Um, so it'd be nice if they had an indicator on the top left part of the screen or somewhere else in the car besides on the bottom part of the monitor. Um, I guess that's it. Tires are wearing evenly. Uh, battery's doing well, charging good. Um, I did have to reset the screen, I think twice. So um, if you have any problems where the screen doesn't work, you just simply push these two um, scroll buttons, hold them down and it, re it reboots the computer. Um, what else? I think that's it. it had very little issues that I can recall they've all been real tiny issues I did get a screen protector for the screen and everything is pretty inexpensive it's not like incredibly expensive so all these things I would recommend you do um, and then I have the of course the <clears throat> I do recommend that you download the app <laughs> Because there was one time um, I basically uh, allowed the pin. I have to uh, have a four-digit pin to get in the car and to turn the car on. If your screen goes down and you don't have the app, you're going to have going to have a really hard time getting anywhere because you have to bypass the screen <clears throat> with your phone so you can drive the car. So if you do have the pin. Make sure you know how to access your car through your cell phone. And then make sure you know how to reset the, um, the uh, reboot the computer. So th those are for new users or people that aren't familiar with tech, I would, I would recommend get familiar, write it down, be able to remember, push those two buttons to reset it and get familiar with your app because that is gonna allow you to not get stuck um, if you do use the four digit, four digit pin code to get in your car. And I think that's about it. I don't have any other questions or comments to add. <laughs>
So if you guys like this video, if you have any questions or comments, uh, I try to read every comment. I try to answer every question. So like I said, this is the over uh, 25,000 miles over one year. Um, pretty much driving exclusively. I've cleaned the car myself almost every time. I went through the car wash a couple times. Um, maintenance has been none. Uh, I did have to um, top off the the tires um, every once in a while, like maybe especially on a long trip, make sure you check the tire pressure. Um, that's it. If you like this video, crush the like button, and uh, I'll give. I'm going to be taking another trip here soon, so uh, I'll try to make some videos and uh, do some supercharging. And my mom's going this time, so it'll be her first big trip in an EV. Uh, she's been driving this off and on, and then she's been driving Nissan Leaf um, here, here and there. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just washed the car, so the uh, wipers are going nuts for some reason. Turn them off. All right, I will see you on the next one.